Hello guys, how's it going? In this video I will show you the encode string method in Python. So the encode method returns encoded version of the given string. Now in Python 3.0, strings are stored as Unicode, meaning that each character in the string is represented as a code point. Now, meaning that uh, each string is just a sequence of Unicode points. Now for the efficient storage of, the of these code points, um, these uh, strings or sequences are conver converted into a byte. Now this process of conversion is called, uh, called encoding. Now there are many different encodings uh, natively supported by Python, but the most popular one are UTF-8 and ASCII. If you want to see the list of all the supported encodings, uh, we can go here to the official Python uh, documentation website. So for example, here is the ASCII one. And as we can see, there is this huge list of uh, supported encodings. And here is the UTF-8 one. Now, by default, the Python uses the UTF-8 encoding. Okay, so this is how the syntax looks like. We have uh, two parameters, both of them are optional. And the first one is encoding, specifying the type of encoding that we want to do on the string. By default, this is UTF-8. And the second parameter is errors, which basically specifies the type of error or, or the response message when the or the response behavior when the encoding fails. So we have a six types of these error responses. Um, the first one is strict, and it basically raises a Unicode decode error exception. The second one is ignore, which basically ignores um, the unencodable character. The third one is replace, which replaces this uh, unencodable character with the question mark. And then there are some other ones. Okay, so the returned, um, the, the method returns a string, which is basically encoded version of the original string. Okay, so let's look at some examples. On the first example, we are going to Unicode encode the uh, the string and as we can see uh, basically nothing happens because this string uh, contains all the characters which are part of the uh, first 128 characters in the ASCII table but if I would change this to, uh, to for example something like this we can see that this character has been converted to a using the UTF-8 encoding now uh, if I would change this to, for example, ASCII, uh, we can see that we get an error because the character is outside of the range of the ASCII table. So let's say we want to um, still use the ASCII encoded, encoding, but we want to ignore the message. So we can use the ignore option as a second parameter, which is just going to skip this character and ignore it. Um, similarly, we can use the replace method, which is going to replace the character with the question mark. And this is actually the default behavior of many of the um, um, document processing uh, software like uh, Word or Excel, etc. Where if the encoding is set incorrectly and you save the file and you close the file and then you try to reopen it, and it may replace some of the characters which have been encoded incorrectly or which is unable to encode with the question marks. And in this last example, I have some Japanese characters that I want to uh, encode. And just to show you that there are different um, encodings, uh, we can use the UTF-8-16, uh, sorry, UTF-16, for example. And uh, yeah, this should be done any minute, yes. So, again, you might see uh, different versions of UTF-8 written differently. For example, um, this, is, this is the same as writing the UTF-8. And similarly, if with, with the dash or even with the underscore, this is just the various uh, forms of the same encoding type written differently. Right, so this is the encode method and that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching.